Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. It's Rad. Welcome to uh, Rad Kutarot, and this is going to be a uh, Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and uh, Cancer Rising weekly tarot reading for April 1st to April 6th, uh, 2019. And uh, as I'm shuffling the cards, uh, I want to remind you once again that this is going to be a, a general reading for a Cancer Star Sign. And uh, for that reason, this reading is going to regards to different things for every single different Cancer. And as well, it's going to resonate in a different way for uh, every single different Cancer. But if you do want more personal touch, meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through Tarot and uh, to give you a, a prediction for it, for its future, that is a subject of a private reading. And uh, for such, uh, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a, a full list of my services, as well as their pricings, which are starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the uh, personal call readings. So uh, that being said, going to the, the to the cancer reading now, general reading, the first card, which is marking the topic of your cancer week, that is going to be the five of swords, followed by the second card, which is the negative approach toward the situation that is going to be the queen of cups. Then what we do have is the third card, uh, and the third card is about the positive approach toward the situation that is going to be the ace of swords. And the last one, which is the final outcome of growth, should you follow the guidance of Tarot, this is going to be the um, Two of Swords. So quite a lot of Swords cards is what we do have. The first one that will be the Five of Swords. Then we do have the Queen of Cups. Once again, the cards of the uh, of the spread here. Third card, it is the Ace of Swords. And then the last one that is going to be the Two of Swords. So for what it seems, Cancer, you are to find the Rat in the um, uh, in your social circle or into your environment. What I mean is that uh, whatever issues you do have um, in your life right now, which are caused by uh, by some people, uh, surreptitious uh, or people with surreptitious actions, you are to find about those people and you are to cut ties with those people uh, throughout uh, this week. So it seems that you are to find the um, the hidden enemy that it is around, either into your career, your relationship, or your social circle, for throughout this week. That is um, uh, just the general outlook of the reading. But the prime card here it is the Five of Swords, showing that someone is misusing their power and is taking advantage of your kindness in general. Um, <clears throat> Now you have to walk, uh, to coach yourself very warm. It is because this week you may experience humiliation, attacks as well, verbal attacks from people, and in general people who are um, or yeah people who are oppressing you in many ways and are I could say even blackmailing you to do things which you don't want to. And that blackmail doesn't have to be something like you know that people have uh, or that person has as a um, as a string to pull, that could be completely emotional blackmailing, you know, kind of like they, that person see that you commiserate on him and they use that commiseration to make you do something that you would not do in a, in a normal circumstances or in generally taking advantage, like I said, of your kindness. But the Five of Swords also is showing that throughout this week you are, uh, on a very general level, that is Cancer, truly realize where your potential lies. That being said, it is very uh, likely that you are to put on halt some of your projects and some of your, um, your aims as well, realizing that there are two big bites at this uh, stage and first additional or kind of like peripheral matters needs to be attended before you actually stray to the grand achievement. The accompanied card that is going to be the Hierophant and formation, it is active enemies here and it, it truly does seems that you are, I cannot say really ignorant, but you are blind for uh, those hidden enemies which resides either into your social circle or dwell into your uh, career. And in order for you to uncover those hidden enemies here, uh, you will have to 
chat or rather lead those uh, conversations with people which are neutral to the situation either career-wise or either relationship-wise as well. Uh, if you do have mentors also, um, you can kind of like consult yourself with this, uh, with, with your mentor or with someone who is once again detached from the situation itself. Just to give you an example here, what I mean is that, let's say that uh, you are working in a cooperation upon an important project at work and some of the people which are working upon the project constantly are failing but they are good in nature you know and just because they're good in nature uh, you always kind of like make an excuse that it is not their fault and you are always helping them and so on and so forth and when you consult yourself with your mentor or someone who is detached from this uh, project, they will kind of like open your eyes for what the real issue is. And the real issue is that person. Yeah, that person may be good in nature, but they suck at work. And when they suck at work, they have no place there. So once again, you are to find the route for um, whom for your things are not working out and uh, you have to address that issue, you know, you have to address that person and basically stop cooperating with them. This is what these cards are pointing. So the root of your issues, why things aren't working out, either relationship or either career resides in someone and this someone is already into your environment. You pretty much know who that one is. It is just for some reason that person is taking advantage of your emotional state, you know, or uh, with other means, and that's why they are still in uh, in your environment. So the negative approach toward the situation is what we said about empathizement and uh, commiseration. That is the Queen of Cups. You feel for them, you know. They are constantly the victim, and they constantly have been. Uh, uh, what do you say in English when uh, you are mis? Uh, unrighteously uh, positioned something like you know uh, it is, it is kind of like always they're in this advantageable position they don't have luck they don't have a uh, the, the fortune is not at their uh, at their side and it's always like they are having the downer hand here well in this uh, specific case uh, you should once again not allow just because someone is uh, sucking at something or just because, you know, they are in a bad spot to lead your life. So to, how can I place it? So to, uh, to please their nature. Uh, in this uh, specific case, you have to acknowledge that everybody has their own faith and everybody has to endure their own faith. And for that reason, you should not endure their faith whatsoever. The Queen of Cups here points that should you indulge into this emotional connection with this person which has nothing to do with love, but it's more about feeling pity for them, being a, in an empathizement and commiserating, it is, uh, it is unlikely that your situation is going to improve as they will continue on feeding on your energy and on your good nature as well. The accompanied card here that is going to be the Tree of Cups and the, the uh, formation is passive supporters. So Tree of Cups is all about cooperation and additionally to that, uh, that is a confirmation here that this person has nothing to add in it. They only consume, all right? So they, there is no good that person being a part of your project, a part of your social circle, or taking participation into that relationship. It could be a mutual friend that you and your partner in relationship has, that you are finding yourself devoted, devoting more time to that friend rather than to the relationship itself. That could be very well the case. So, <clears throat> It's it's kind of like you have to build up your boundaries. Uh, your boundaries it is what I am trying to say here, cancers, and to recognize that it's it's simply you cannot save everybody, and especially this person. That person doesn't need saving. They need to live under uh, on the back of someone else. They need to be uh, constantly uh, victimized. They need constantly to be once again commiserated upon and uh, that just draws away from your uh, from your vital energy and from your productive energy that is because uh, you can strain your vision around that person, you know, and that does not allow you to have a freedom of, of free time 
to attend to your relationship, to your projects, you know. Um, if we're talking about a project here, you um, may find yourself quite busy, you know, to sort that person things out instead of attending to your responsibilities regarding the projects and so on and so forth. That reminds me when I was working for this English company and when I was going on a, um, well, how do you call it, a, a business trips into England and I was spending time in the office, you know, and uh, there, was the, there was this person who constantly ran to the executive director to do that person's job. It is just that person were going there 10 times a day uh, to ask for opinion or to ask for decision to be made while that decision should have been that person. So she, that person rather like, devoured a lot of productive time of the executive director and that guy had to stay had to stay after working hours so he he can be capable to do his job so something like this keep close monitoring on who is uh, who is devouring a lot of your time throughout this week cancer and basically that person needs to go especially if that obstructs your relationship or it does obstruct you know your career and so on and so forth so the um, appropriate approach to the situation that is going to be the ace of swords and the ace of swords regards to two things placing the accurate diagnosis upon the situation so recognizing that this person needs to go and the second thing is taking the drastic measures in order to do so confronting that person saying look mate we cannot go any further anymore. It is because you are a burden. Well, you can't say it that directly, you know, but maybe you can say, you know, things, it's looking like they ain't gonna work out. So we have to part ways. It's all about that. The, the Ace of Swords is all about provoking, you know, with drastic measures, the improvement into one circumstances by placing the accurate diagnosis upon the situation. The accompanied card here, this is going to be the 10 of wands. So the formation is um, active friends. And it does look like that that is going to open you a, um, how can I place it, a lot of, uh, of time to attend to your things, to your deeds, to your relationship to your project at, at career. As well, the 10 of uh, wands sometimes represents awesome opportunity, which however is going to require a lot of devotion and a lot of time that you did not have while this person was around. So as soon as you banish that person, which is devouring, you know, your, your productive time and your productive energy, you are going to be capable, guys, to attend to much more deeds, to much more uh, enterprises into your relationship or to much more um, kind of like responsibilities into your career. And with the 10 of Wands as well, especially when we're talking about career, this card always points to improvement and growth in a sense of showing yourself capable enough to manage many things at once, you know, and um, those things are always meant to, um, to please the company itself. So that puts you in a position to demand for a promotion, to demand for raise and so on and so forth. But only if you mind your own business and you don't allow anybody to uh, strive you off your business, which could be uh, this person. Because for example, here, you know, you may say to that person, Jude, I have so much work, you know, I cannot do that right now. And they could say, come on, man, it's just, I'm gonna get fired. If you don't help me, you know, my kids are gonna starve and so on and so forth. Well, maybe you have to aim for a lower position than something uh, less burdening. Uh, I mean, you can't hold yourself responsible for someone else's failures. That is what I'm trying to say here. And should you follow this at the end, we do have the two of swords. So that card expresses balance here and being in a, a position of equilibrium, no dramas, no dilemmas, and a, a complete peace into either your relationship or into either your career, should you follow once again the guidance of Tarot and has the, uh, and you have the, um, the determination to basically cut off the dead weight, which is represented by a person, once again, whom is only counting on the commiserations and the pity of others toward them so they can basically, you know, carry on 
with their job or with their uh, or with their involvement into one's uh, relationships. The accompanied card here that is going to be the uh, lovers card. The formation it is a active uh, neutrals. So for what it seems, uh, this equilibrium is going to be as well an equilibrium of harmony here. So everything uh, that you are to tackle with either into your career or either into your relationship is going to be uh, to devour just as much time as you do have, meaning you are going to feel yourself very, very productive. Not to mention that that will open you many options available, decisions that you have to make. Neither of those decisions is going to be wrong or uh, right. It just is going to matter of a personal preference. And as well with the lovers and the two of swords throughout this piece, you are to see that many of your problems that you currently had when this person was around are to start resolving on their own accord because the very core of the, uh, the source of these issues was because that person was around. So, um, Cancers, it does look like that you are to find the snake in the nest here and uh, it will take um, kind of like a lot of, um, how do you say it, an uh, iron will to truly banish that snake because this snake is, gonna is going to use any kind of uh, uh, hidden weapon that they have and above everything else, you know, the emotional state that you're in, you know, kind of like to abuse your uh, emotional connection with them. If this doesn't work, then they will try to humiliate you. So don't succumb yourself to those uh, to those attacks, guys. It is just, you know, aim toward the uh, personal independence here and to banish that person from your life so you can once again achieve equilibrium and resolve a lot of your issues. So that being said, Cancers, this was your weekly tarot reading April 1st to April 6th, 2019. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, once again, this was a general reading for Cancer Star Sign. And for that reason, is to relate for a different area in Cancers in every single different Cancer's life. And it's going to resonate in a different level for every single different Cancer. But if you do want personal reading, meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot and to give you a prediction for it, uh, for its future, just like I did for the few examples in this video, that is a subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 and for the recorded readings and $15 for the private call readings. Rat signing out now. See you next.